I'd like to thank the East West Institute for hosting me today to talk about American diplomacy, the conduct of diplomacy, and the challenges confronting global diplomacy today, and particularly the new president, Ambassador Cameron Munter, who is in fact one of the main characters, if I can call them that, in my book. I was uh, very happy that there was interest um, in the Q&A period about American diplomacy and uh, its practice. I've um, done a lot of research on the subject over 12 years, having visited, for this purpose, 77 American embassies, consulates, and other diplomatic missions around the world, and interviewed um, six, about 600 American diplomats and uh, eight secretaries of state. So um, typically people ask me what surprised me the most. I, even though I was covering the State Department as a newspaper correspondent, first for the Financial Times and then the Washington Times, and traveling with the Secretary of State around the world, I was still surprised by the level of engagement or even entrenchment of American diplomacy in every, almost every country in the world. There are only two countries with which the United States does not have diplomatic relations, and that, of course, is Iran and also North Korea. But also what surprised me was the weakness of the infrastructure or the system of American diplomacy in Washington and overseas, and the insufficient preparation that foreign service officers receive before they go out, particularly before their first posting. They really have no idea what their career would look like. In most cases, they don't quite know what an embassy does, what the different sections at an embassy do. And uh, what I, I tried to do with my research and my book, whose uh, new second edition came out in October, was to try to humanize diplomacy, make it relatable, and show how what American diplomats do affects the lives of people in the United States and in other countries. So again, Thanks to the Institute for hosting me and uh, hopefully we'll see you again.